So hello everyone. This is um, a talk about Remina, the Remina plugin for X2Go. And this is Mike and I'm Daniel. That's Welcome. Daniel. And Daniel has been working on the Remina plugin uh, uh, over the past one and a half years. And um, today we will show you a little bit on, and demonstrate and tell you a little bit of what we have learned, what challenges we faced or Daniel mainly faced. And um, where Remina comes from, uh, uh, when the X2Go development for Remina started, and actually also what you could still do, what we could still do, what where mm -hmm. the space for improvement in Remina concerning X2Go sessions, running X2Go sessions, and also limitations. We also get to that. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. Um, hope you enjoy our. We try to stay with thirty minutes. So I hope you mm -hmm. enjoy your th our thirty minutes talk and. Might be a half an hour talk lasting 40 minutes at the end. We will see. We'll never we'll know see. where we end. So, okay. should we begin with the, um, with the obvious name, the spread? So, Stefan asked us um, to bring our favorite bread spread. And mine is Bresso. That's Bresto. called uh, Frischkäse in German. I don't know the English word for this. But cream cheese. Cream cheese, I think it is. Cream cheese, yeah. Cream cheese. Okay. Well, that's my favorite. And yeah, the yeah. spread. So, so I wasn't as obedient, um, but I have my I ha don't have my favorite spread here anyway, because it, I have to take a car drive for 40 kilometers and go to the, to the farmer's mm -hmm. market in Kiel. And there is this Turkish booth and they have this Chili, chili, chili. It's really, really red, and it's a lot of garlic inside, and it's also yeah. cream cheese. But it, it, ah, Daniel knows it. I brought it yeah. the other day, and it burns yeah. your mouth, but I love it. So, <laughs> but I didn't bring it today, um, because didn't have the time to go there. Mm. Okay, so, um, first of all, um, I'd, I'd like to start actually. Shall we, shall we do, shall we do a demonstration of what? What what Remina and X2Go do? Shall we do it at the beginning, right, Daniel? Uh, well, I would like to um, first say something about my nickname. I was formerly known as uh, Daniel T, and I switched my nickname to Zatoa um, in the last few months. So, just to clear confusions. Um, yeah, okay, so it's the same person, but you just changed your internet nick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Okay, we can start with the um, demonstration. Yeah, okay. So if um, you, I'm not sure if you know Big Blue Button, which we're using here for recording the session so well. There is a plus icon at the left bottom corner, mm -hmm. and then you can presenter. take presenter, and then you're a head of presenting. Ah, okay. Screen. And then you can share your screen. So that what Daniel be. is doing, he he's demonstrating most of the stuff on localhost. So um, with X2Go, you can launch x So X2Go sessions are always headless in a way. So you don't have a graphical session running on some physical display, but it all runs in memory. And you can start X2Go sessions, as you all know, headless, and then connect a client to that. And the client then displays what's in the X2Go session. And you can yeah. do it on localhost. So the X2Go session runs on localhost, and the client is also on localhost. Or, of course, you can do it on the remote network. But for for avoiding network disruptions and whatnot here at our local co work space, uh, we were actually sitting like 30 meters away from mm -hmm. one another at the moment. Um, to avoid such interruptions, um, we do mm -hmm. the demonstration on localhost. Okay, let's go. Well, I started Runina with uh, the environment variable length C, so that you can see it in English. Um, otherwise, it would be in German. Well, I start with creating a new profile connection, a new connection profile. Uh, I name it localhost, and I will use the X2Go protocol. Servers, of course, localhost, then my username, my password from this machine, and startup comment um, should be Marta. The resolution is, I think you can skip the sketch step because the resolution is uh, resetted on startup anyway so that makes no actual sense to set it here um mm -hmm. yeah we maybe so, so it's actually the remina frame where the x2go session then gets embedded yeah. and that 
decides on the resolution of the session running inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you can select your keyboard layout and type, but I will skip this step. Audio support should be pulse for me. Clipboard direction should be both. And you also get um, this little hover text, uh, which explains what this things should do. Which is actually um, a feature that we contributed to Reminer yeah. as a whole. So there were no tooltips available in the session dialog before, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. So DBI is somewhere in between 90 I default, uh, in default, I think. 96, I think it is. Yeah, 90, uh, okay, 96. Um, and you always see which, um, in which range the input number should be. So if I um, enter 401, for example, and try to save it, then there's this little pop-up, which is now a little budget uh, because I using, I'm using Haps Luftwärm, which is uh, yeah a different um, window manager. And in GNOME, for example, this little pop-up should be here. And yeah, it tells us that this number must be between 20 and 400. So let's obey to that and mm -hmm. uh, enter 90 here. We don't need an SSH identity file. Uh, by the way, this input validation thing is also written by me for this from Women Are Core um, that is available for every plugin now. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. So, so it was actually that we, our company, so my company, the Dust Netzwerk team, where Daniel's employee had, got contracted um, by um, by Stefan Bauer's company to write uh, next go plug uh, to to finalize. There was a draft of the next go plugin. We we'll get to that later. Mm -hmm. And from there on, it became quite an independent endeavor, so that you're actually a remnant core contributor from time to time, mm -hmm. not continuously, but sort of you. I see you on GitLab uh, outside of your work time uh, contributing to Remina, and I'm quite happy yeah. about that, actually. Yeah, well, um, okay, SSH identity file is not needed in my case, um, and I will just save it, and then I can double click on that session, and I will move this window here and resize it a bit. So, and if we give it some time, then we will see an Marta session popping up. Um, yeah. Well, that's not needed. It is a bit lame because my laptop is not the greatest and fastest, but yeah. We see a Marta desktop. Uh, we can, of course, run everything we need in Xogo. You all know it. Um, and if I open a terminal here, for example, and write something like hello, then we see it's working. And in Marta, you can always resume, uh, suspend your session uh, with a click of a button. And then it goes away. And if we want to resume the session later on, we can restart um, our local connection profile. And then there should be a new uh, dialogue popping up. Okay, actually, well, you need you need at least two sessions running on the same machine, right? Ah, okay. Yeah, it's it's auto resuming if there's just one. Uh, well, it should be. Okay, we see. I try it again. Um, let's. Suspend this session, and if you want to, for example, um, restart Remina, that's always possible. And later on, we can resume the session. Um, now it should a uh, dialog pop up, which shows every um, session we are running. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the typical. Let's demo yeah. something, and um, it behaves differently in a it live demo. It's, it is, yeah. This is this is really Murphy's law. Um, yeah. I I assume, Daniel, that 
Mm -hmm. You need a different session running in the background. So you have two sessions because that's the, norm, the behavior next to go client. And, uh, and then, we have, and we then have your dialogue is running. No, no, no. Uh, you, yeah. you, I guess you resumed. Uh, we, uh -huh. No, if you resumed, there would be the um, terminal showing. Okay. But so there is there's still room for improvement. We'll, we'll find out what the reason for this is. But basically what you can see is that... Um, X go sessions run in Remina, and mm -hmm. it is the 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 state. So what the new code is already merged in Remina upstream as well. So and it's mm -hmm. also available in Debian. Will be available available in Debian twelve. Um. So shall we shall we talk about the history of of this a little bit more so that people know a bit more context? Well, um, let us shows something um, with the passwords, a thing mm -hmm. we can improve. So um, let me just edit the connection profile. And if I type in the wrong password, for example, I want to uh, something garbage, um, then there should uh, be a dialog which says um, x to go couldn't be started. Um, here in the console, you see authentication failed, but the user sees something different. Mm -hmm. um, he sees that uh, PyHooker CLI stopped unexpectedly, which is not true. Uh, we can, however, um, improve this with um, PyHooker CLI return codes. We can, as a PyHooker CLI returns um, different exit codes if uh, with different errors. So we can see this authentication failure and um, try to make a better error message, for example. Mm -hmm. So maybe so, maybe some words about the architecture. So Remina yeah. is a GTK application and you can build it against GTK3 or GTK4. And, um, and Remina doesn't know how to do Exago. Like it doesn't know how to do free, uh, like, it doesn't know how to do RDP. It uses third-party components to do that. In the case of RDP, it uses oh, the free you, RDP. Sorry to uh, abrupt you, but you have yeah. some some noise in your headset. But now I think it's gone. Okay. 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 Please continue. Might have, sorry. Might have been my my computer that's running in the background. Um, so um, so with free RDP, um, Remina directly links against the lib free RDP client library and uses RP cores of the library to start RDP sessions inside of the Remina application mm -hmm. window. Um, with X2Go, um, this is different because um, there is no such library available. Um, so you, so you and, and originally Antenore and someone else I can't remember of, uh, we, started, we started by launching the Python X to go client implementation that I've written years ago, which can be used, and I do it daily. I use um, PyHoka CLI to launch um, X to go sessions from the command line. So without GUI around, just command line, and then the window appears. Mm -hmm. So, and um, the original person who, who started putting X to go support into Remina did exactly that. So um, the Pyoka CLI script was taken and Remina, the X2Go plugin for Remina was written in a way that it would launch the Pyoka CLI script. Um, pretty similar, for example, to how it's dealing with VNC, if I remember that correctly. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so, so and if, you, if, you, if you invoke a second command, a separate command from, from inside a GUI, you you certainly want some interaction between the GUI, Remina, and the command line tool that you use to launch stuff, to do stuff. So and and that's what Daniel actually referred to is we 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 can say Pyoka CLI do this and we have mm -hmm. a lot of command line options and we actually added a few command line options to Pyoka CLI to to improve the interaction between Remina and uh, uh, Pyoka. But that's always direction from Remina to Pahoka. So if if things go down to the drain, if, if they go wrong during the run of the X2Go session, 
Pihoka CLI stops and writes on standard error what's ha what's been happening. Mm -hmm. But it's it's not returning this error as a machine understandable exit code, for example. So and that's what we could actually improve. So so that that we have a list of failures in Pihoka CLI. And depending on the failure, the exit code of Pihoka CLI is always different. And Remina learns to understand those exit codes. Um, also, let me, um, there's also something we, we did in Pihoka CLI to ease the cooperation between Remina and Pihoka CLI, and that's the feature list. Do you want to maybe mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that, how, how that works? So um, if you execute Pihoka CLI, um, we have can a you... new comment. Yeah, can you uh, probably can't enough? enlarge the font? Yeah, okay. yeah. Make it make yeah. it full screen. Make it full screen. Okay. Yes. Uh, re introduce this little um, comment line. So it prints all the features uh, Pihoka CLI um, supports with, in this specific version. This is an important key um, because Pihoka CLI is not always updated on every machine. And if we update Remina with new new code, it can happen that Pyoka is still not an updated version. And this, the, this could clash and um, crash the whole application. And we don't want to crash the application. We just want to make a session. And um, then we will, if this command line feature is not listed in this list and Remina detects uh, is a new version and detects this feature is missing. For example, SSH passphrase or sound or something, then Remina will not use that feature in mm -hmm. Pyhoka CLI to ensure mm -hmm. that we can um, at least make a session, even yeah. if so, this misses and, some and, features. And the question is why we're doing this because they Remina and Pyhoka CLI or all of X2Go are two complete different kinds of projects. So they are independent from one another. So they know of one another a bit, but mm -hmm. especially when it comes to these, these software components in distributions, it might happen that Remina is really up to date and Pahoka CLI hasn't seen a release for the last two months. And then maybe me and Mihai is, are to blame that we haven't done a release, but or made a release. Um, or, uh, the other way around is 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 different. So if Remina is older, then um, it simply doesn't know. It doesn't have the new feature, but Pyoka CLI has its API anyway, and it, it behaves. It tries to stay API stable even if running against an an older Remina. So that's okay. And it's pretty much the same what we actually do in X2Go server. So in X2Go, the idea was actually taken from there. X2Go server is also has also a sub command where you can get a feature list from the X2Go server and and the X2Go client. So Pyhoka CLI will actually issue that command and take a look at the list of features. And if a feature is not on that, it will throw an error or avoid a certain switch feature, whatever, mm -hmm. and behave slightly differently. So that's actually quite quite a common thing also in, in other uh, communication APIs that, that we have in computer science. Good, okay. Um, so let's take uh, back a step, I think. We mm -hmm. should maybe um, start how, um, yeah, we should tell the t people how this whole project started. Like, um, I think 2012 was the first um, issue um, opened on GitHub, I think, at the time. Women are switched somewhere um, between 2012 and 2015 uh, from GitHub to GitLab. And um, where well, someone wished for an um, X2Go plugin integration in Rimina. And I think nothing happened for a few years back then. And um, sometime in uh, 2015, Antonora made a merge request with the first usable version of X2Go with, a, with this X2Go plugin. And then there was some discussion about this, but then um, a few years, uh, nothing happened a few years after that. Um, 
too. But then, Mike, you um, did some changes. You had two branches prepared. One was working and one was broken. And I think you uh, have, you deleted the um, Xephia support and you implemented the Xembed support um, natively. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. So, so um, I actually, I also looked at what was in the merge request at, at an early stage and I found the solution quite good. And then I, I don't know, like felt like two years later, I looked again because mm -hmm. I, you know, had a free evening and thought, wow, well, what's Remina doing? And is the plugin available? And people have mm -hmm. been asking about that in the XGO community. So I took a look and then I saw that, uh, I'm not sure if it was Antonora or, so Antonora is one of the core Remina upstream maintainers. Um, yeah, was, I think he doesn't have the time anymore, but yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, okay. That's not good. Um, let's not tell anyone. Um, so, but, but there was some, so, so it was, Pyoka CLI executing an Exago session, launch an Exago session, and writing that to Xephire, which is a nested X server. And mm -hmm. then he was embedding the Xephire in Remina. And this was weird because you don't need the Xephire except for isolate. Yeah, well, that might have been the reason at that time. Um, but then certain features like copy paste and stuff won't work. So I actually proposed removing Sapphire out of this equation um, mm -hmm. so that the X2Go session is pretty much equivalent to what we have with the X2Go client or Pyoka CLI directly or uh, Pyoka uh, GUI. And, um, and, and then I stopped working on it again. It was a bit like on and off in, in spare time, which has been available at that time a little bit, but not so much. And and then actually um, uh, uh, one of Stefan's customers came around and, and asked for mm. uh, X2Go support in Remina, and that would be a really nice feature. And then I said, ah, yes, I'll do it. And then I didn't do it, but I asked Daniel mm -hmm. to do it. And mm -hmm. and you actually got quite involved then. That was in, was it 2022, 21? No. Uh, in August, 2021. Um, Only then. Uh, Feels oh, longer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it feels okay. like an eternity, but it's only a year from now. Okay. Um, yeah, back then I was working with the 450 euro per month model for mm, you. It's a mini job agreement. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, in Germany you don't have to pay taxes if your income is lower than 451 euros per month. And then in August we switched um, the my employment type to include a lot more hours per month. So I was practically working half time for Rimino. And uh, yeah, well, I did this for one or two months, I think, using the two branches you provided and worked mm -hmm. on earlier. One was mm -hmm. totally broken with a sec fault, I think, and one was working. And I had to, mm -hmm. um, yeah, to make both work. And this was my first C project. So I learned a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Great. So I did uh, 15 different. Yeah, let me just first. mention that Daniel is working on several totally different kinds of projects. Yeah. Python right. here, Qt, and Splash there, C. Um, website development. Then, um, yeah, website development. Uh, we have, we do uh, one project where we do a lot of shell scripting uh, and mm -hmm. use the Phi installer. So, um, so you're quite a flexible guy, I'd say, huh? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Whatever the job needs. Yeah. So, yeah, that's very good. So, so in that time you did, I, I, we, we have a little script here. Uh, mm -hmm. I read you did 15 different MRs and, mm -hmm. um, they, they were about X to go, the X to go plugin in Remina, but at the end yeah. it all turned out to be upstream development, core contributions, like yeah. the tooltip support, like input uh, uh, validation for yeah, the true. session dialogue yeah. configuration, a session configuration dialogue and stuff like that. So it's yeah. really good. Um, I would like, so we'll, we'll, uh, we're about to come to an end with this. Um, like we have five more minutes. I might take mm -hmm. 10 more minutes. Um, but um, I would like to talk about limitations of the X2Go support in Remina, because mm -hmm. as 
people might have tried out already, um, it doesn't always work. And that's for a reason, because we have technical limitations, which could be overcome, uh, mm -hmm. but that needs time and yeah. money, basically. Time, money, investment. Yeah. Time and or time or money. <laughs> Funding. Um, yep. Yeah, exactly. So um, let me let me do a let me pick up the architecture of Remino mm -hmm. again. So it was GTK application we said builds against GTK three, GTK four, mm -hmm. and GTK is a widget toolkit. So which GTK can do this. It can create a main loop for an application mm -hmm. and check for input events. And if there comes an input event a click on a button, um, it can respond to that, like that. So it's an event-based main loop handler thingy. So GTK is all also about graphical applications, so it can draw buttons and menus and whatnot, you know? And so, and GTK is what is drawing all the screen elements you see when you open Remina. Um, GTK as a, Widget Toolkit can draw its buttons and whatnot and run on top of an X11 server, which has been state of the art for 20 years and more, uh, mm -hmm. maybe 30 actually. And But it can also do this natively on Wayland sessions. Wayland, session, Wayland is much newer, but I don't have to explain what Wayland is, I guess, here in this context. Um, so, however, GTK3, when running on top of X11, as a different feature set compared to when running on natively as a Wayland application. So if I, I can, I can, so, so uh, Remina has been built against GTK and I can decide on the command line or you could also have desktop menu files. Um, if I want to start it in X11 mode or in, G, uh, in, in Wayland mode. Mm -hmm. for, for this, I need a Wayland compositor on my computer. So if I if I just have X11 running, XORG running or so, I can't, of course, I can't launch a native Wayland session, uh, Wayland, Remina in native Wayland mode. But if I'm on Wayland, so GNOME with Wayland compositor stuff, then I can launch Remina in Wayland mode. But then Remina will lack certain features mm -hmm. provided by GTK that are only available when Remina runs on top of X11. And that is especially, well, or most, the biggest problem here is that the embedding of one window, x to go session, in another window, the Remina frame where the ses session runs in, is not possible. Mm -hmm. So the API in GTK is called GTK socket, and mm -hmm. that is not available when GTK runs in native Wayland mode. Or if you build with GTK4 support, I think. I was just about to mention that if you go one step further and Remina already supports that, if you build Remina mm -hmm. with GTK4, the GTK developers, what, what their intention is for GTK4, be graphical architecture agnostic. So mm -hmm. have the same internal API or the same public API to consumers like programs, applications, um, and and be able to render what what this application wants from us on X11, on Wayland, also on, uh, uh, it can it can render stuff in the browser. There is a GTK implementation that renders in the HTML canvas of a browser. So LibreOffice, for example, uses that for web-based LibreOffice. Um, so, and the idea of GTK4 is to actually have a complete technology agnostic layer um, uh, facing that to the application that's using it so that they, as an application, you don't have to bother if you're on X11, Wayland, whatever, mm -hmm. don't care. So, which means no X embedding because X it was already says that X embedding means on X11 technology, I can embed one window frame into another window frame. Yep. So we will lose that. Yeah. So, so without this um, feature support, we can't embed a feature uh, a window into the Remina window, and well, it doesn't work. And we could try and um, 
use a valent x valent compatibility layer and run an x11 window in an valent session but that would also lose some features i don't you you said earlier to me what features was was that what we lose? I, I i i don't think that um so so um first of all if you run so if you're on wayland and you have different native Wayland applications they all look pretty much the same so mm -hmm. good look and feel and then you can launch x11 sessions and for this a uh, a layer between wayland and the application gets fired up that's x wayland it's an x server that has that can accept x client connections from x applications and render that in wayland but as wayland is uh, is is designed um this application for example will be sandboxed from all other applications mm -hmm. um so I'm not quite sure if the look and feel, for example, would be the mm. same as if running Remin natively in Wayland. And um, but but then in this context, um, this could work. So it, it does work. X to Go sessions get embedded, and the API is available, the GDK socket API. Um, but you have to tweak your Remin uh, uh, start start menu entry, for example. You have to make sure that Remin is not starting in native valent mode. So you have to tweak your system mm -hmm. to actually get this. It's, it's not run, it's not available. It's just causing a lot of problems and it yeah. wouldn't work as the way we would intend. Yeah. And and, and, and whenever the distribution maintainer of Remina uh, decides to actually use GTK4 for building Remina, then, then mm -hmm. GTK socket is not available, then x to go plugin is not available. Yeah. So the the more permanent solution or, the, or a sustainable solution for this would actually be um, use. So we have two different graphical backends in X to go, NX agent, NX proxy. That's the really X11, uh, um, heavily using X11 uh, to, to transfer the session images and, and the session, whatever, from, from the server to the client. And we have K drive, X to go K drive as graphical backend and the X to go K drive client as the renderer on the um, on the on the local machine on the client machine. And while NX agent NX proxy is transferring X drawing commands X drawing commands over this connection. Um, you, for this, you need an X eleven server on the client to actually understand what's meant. Because it's it's there's X11 coming out of the NX agent NX proxy connection, but with K drive, it is a bit more like it's it's a self written protocol that's that's spoken between X to K drive server. It's it's an X server, but the X11 stuff is is vanishes and what what comes through the channel between K drive server and client is mm -hmm. drawing commands for bitmaps for whatever. So yeah. with a lot of caching, with a lot of intelligence inside to optimize uh, um, uh, round trips and latency and and, and uh, also be usable on considerable low bandwidth. Mm -hmm. So we have, so this is not, doesn't need, or there's no X11 in this communication between client and server anymore. Mm -hmm. So so the main and, goal was and, would be uh, implementing um, an X to go card drive client into Remina um, and natively, like natively done with free RDP, with and remove RDP. the GTK socket and GTK four, uh, GTK three exactly. dependency. Yeah. That would uh, be a sustainable, um, yeah, way of implementing a X to go plugin for okay. Remina. It would it would phase out it would phase out. Um, NX agent NX proxy for people who use Remina, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, but it would be it would be a long term solution um, to to actually, if you want to run Remina as a client, have X to go card drive on the server, um, and the available clients we have for now uh, for card drive at the moment are a Qt implementation, mm -hmm. and we can't mix GDK and Qt very well. It doesn't go well together. So, so we can't have in one application Q2 
QD code and and um, GDK code compiled compiled in. That doesn't work. But we also have a an HTML implementation. Where you can see that it's not X11 anymore that goes through the through the wire between Xdrive K Drive server and Xdrive K Drive client. So 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 we can actually render anywhere. So we can render mm -hmm. into a browser window. We can render into a QD application that draws on screen. The session draws the session on screen. But we could also have a glib GDK based implementation that draws the session on screen through Remino. And that could that shouldn't be then a standalone application like we have with Pyoka CLI. It should be mm -hmm. a, a shared library that people can use from within Remina, like it's done mm -hmm. with libfreerdp client at the moment. Yeah. And then we are basically done. So, and, and this is where we come to the last point, actually, where can people uh, uh, direct, well, well, how can people sort of improve or support us? They could actually work on this solution mm -hmm. or they could hire people here in the Exigo community to, to, to work on a proof of concept, first of all, and then, you know, proceed from there. Yeah. Okay. Or funding or just um, yeah. contributing to the code. A little merge request, anything helps. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I would say uh, we make a little line here and um, mm -hmm. let this um, video end. Yeah. Well, I yeah. really enjoyed working on this project because I learned a lot and it I felt very welcome in the Remina community with Antonore and Kingu and all the other people there working. And it was really fun. It was maybe the most fun project I did on this Netzwerk team. No offense, Ooh, Mike. I didn't know that. Okay. It's true. It's true. I, I really enjoyed it and really enjoying working with mm -hmm. X2Go and Remina. And I learned a lot about debugging C code. I learned a lot about uh, compilers and um, stack faults and um, X to go history told by Mike and mm -hmm. uh, remote desktop connections and protocols and yeah I really enjoyed that. I was mm -hmm. called the hero of the month um, from Antonore. Oh yes. oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, you yeah. were. You, there was this blog post where they mentioned you yeah. as the hero of the month. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. I love that. I love that. Okay, yeah. Thanks for everyone. Listening in, watching in, and um, Daniel, um, let's just did did, mm -hmm. did did you say to Stefan that you'll be available for Q and A tonight? No, sorry, I'm not oh, available. Not. Okay. Sorry. Okay, okay. So um, I'll probably won't be around tonight either because it's family time here, and also this week, it's the last week before before we go on a Christmas vacation, and um, mm -hmm. I have so many projects and deadlines to finish, to close, um, that I'm working really more than full-time this week and last week already as well. So I'm sorry for not being around, and Daniel is too, um, but I hope you enjoy this, and if you have any, any questions, get in touch. You know how to reach me and if you have questions for daniel daniel is satoa on gitlab as well on github definitely mm -hmm. um yeah and um daniel if it's okay i can share my email i can, can share your email address email. if people if people have questions and um just many, ping me on some GitLab. of you yeah. yeah some of you know know his email address already so so just get in touch and um let us know what you think if you need support with Fermina, if you want to see features added, if you want to throw over some bugs, whatever. Okay. So bye bye everyone. <laughs> Daniel, thanks so. a lot for working on all of this. Thanks a lot for being in this in this talk together with me. And um, it was good to have you here. And um, yeah, looking forward to hear from people from the Exico community about their experiences with Fermina. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>